Let's talk about Gauss Hermit modes. What are they? Well, they are the higher order solutions of the Paraxial wave equation. There's a very elaborate calculation in the textbook that shows that if we look at the higher order solution of the Paraxial wave equation, then we basically end up with, with fields that look like this, that are the product of a number of different uh, factors. And the first factor is a traditional Gaussian mode. Okay. But then this Gaussian mode gets multiplied by two Hermit polynomials. There's a Hermit polynomial that takes care of uh, the x direction. So it's a Hermit polynomial of a certain order, which we'll call nx of x. There's basically a scaling factor in front, but it's not important here. Let's not worry about that. And then this field profile gets also multiplied by a second Hermit polynomial, which uh, talks about what's happening in the y direction. And then there's some other phase factors, but again, let's not worry about that. So these higher order solutions, it's logical that they're called Gauss Hermit modes because it's the product of a Gaussian and a number of Hermit polynomials. So this is what they look like mathematically. Uh, but now we can also start plotting these modes simply because we know that it's basically a Gaussian beam modulated by some, uh, some polynomials. Now, these different higher order modes, they can be characterized by the indices that we have for the uh, Hermit polynomials. So every mode basically has a label, which is an X and an Y. And let's have a look at a number of these different modes. So for example, what happens if we have the zero, zero mode? Well, the Hermit polynomial of order zero, that's just one. So basically we have our uh, Gaussian beam here. So just pretend that this is a Gaussian blob and, and not a disk with, with rigid uh, boundaries. So an uh, zero, zero, that's just our, uh, our fundamental mode. Let's now have a look at the Hermit polynomial of order zero, uh, one, zero. So in the y direction, nothing will change, but in the x direction, our Gaussian field here gets multiplied by the Hermit polynomial of order one. Now the Hermit polynomial of order one, that's actually 2x. So what we see is that if we multiply this thing by that thing, then there's nothing happening in the origin anymore because the Hermit polynomial is uh, zero there. So this single blob will break apart into two smaller blobs uh, like this. And you will also notice, okay, my drawing is not very accurate, that uh, this higher order mode is actually much more extended in space than the fundamental mode. And why is that? Well, if you think about this for a while, it's pretty obvious because this Hermit polynomial here is something which increases towards infinity. So this will tend to emphasize the tails of this Gaussian distribution. It decreases exponentially, so in the end it will go down to, to zero, uh, but still in the beginning this, this linear increase is still fighting with the exponential uh, decrease. So this is why this mode is a little bit wider in spatial extent than the, the fundamental mode. Let's now have a look at two, zero. So now if you look at the Hermit polynomial of order two, that's 4x squared minus 2. So this is this parabola here. Uh, this is not 0 at the origin, but now we have two zeros here symmetrically uh, from the, the origin over there. So now we will not have one lobe, two lobes, but three different lobes here. And actually, if you plot it, you have something that, uh, that looks like this. So a smaller central lobe and then some bigger uh, outer lobes. My uh, drawing talent is obviously quite limited, so let me show you something which is a bit more aesthetically pleasing, which is uh, this diagram over here. So here we have the zero, zero blob, which breaks apart into the one, zero blob, two blobs here, and then we have the two, zero, uh, where we have the three different blobs. This, for example, is one, one, where you have uh, these two blobs, both in the X and in the Y direction, so all in all, four different spots. And then you can play around with other possibilities. So this is 2, 1, this is 2, 2. So these are the higher order solutions to the paraxial wave equation, the so-called Gauss-Hermit modes.